So there's some new sectors that we are looking into. Um, so one thing we do is we do invest quite a bit of, uh, of our revenue back into research and development. Out of where we talked about before our electric, emerging electric vehicle technology, one of the side effects of it now is this ability to look at how you gather and capture energy. And that's certainly a market that we see some side benefits for. You will start to see products coming out where they will be energy self-sufficient, be they ga getting their energy through either solar power or through vibrational, capturing vibration movement or through thermal change. Uh, you're going to start to see greater emergence of these technologies that can be put into products and things and, and that's a market that we're, we're looking at now. There, there's one other that we are looking at which is the need to feed the growing population of the world and it's not that we will enter into agriculture and, and you know and grow crops but it's this uh, ability of um, what's called precision agriculture where we take technology and apply it to agriculture so you know, we only put in the, I guess, the fertilizer ingredients that are needed at that time to help that crop grow. We just don't mass cover it. Um, same with water usage. You only apply the water in a mist when it's required. You have an ability to track and gather data on your agriculture and, and then use that to be able to enhance your crop yields and that, that's an area that's going to be required in the future.